The Royal Navy is exploring the use of advanced nuclear power technologies for its surface ships, signaling a potential shift in how its future fleet may be powered. The Royal Navy is gathering information on energy solutions for powering large surface ships. For decades, many navies around the world have utilized nuclear power for their warships, with submarines being the most notable vessels to adopt this technology. The US Navy, for instance, operates several nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, including the Nimitz and Gerald R. Ford-class vessels. France's Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier, introduced in 2001, also relies on nuclear propulsion for its operations. These ships, thanks to their nuclear propulsion, can operate for extended durations without refueling. On the other hand, the UK's nuclear propulsion has so far been confined to its submarine fleet. The Royal Navy's Vanguard-class submarines, responsible for the UK's nuclear deterrent, and the Astute-class attack submarines are all powered by nuclear energy. The Royal Navy's two most expensive surface ships, the HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales, commissioned in 2017, run on conventional gas and diesel engines. The Ministry of Defense's recent request for information or RFI regarding the potential for nuclear-powered surface ships has been viewed by some experts as a strategic step forward. The Royal Navy is exploring the use of advanced nuclear power technologies for its surface ships, signaling a potential shift in how its future fleet may be powered. The Ministry of Defense has issued a request for information RFI, inviting industry leaders to provide insights into the feasibility of integrating Generation 4 nuclear reactors into naval vessels. Although the request for information RFI, which has a deadline of October 8, is not a formal tender, it underscores the Royal Navy's growing interest in nuclear technologies, particularly their application to large surface ships. Generation 4 nuclear reactors, known for their improved safety, efficiency, and sustainability, are at the forefront of this exploration. The Ministry of Defense is keen on understanding how these reactors, including smaller modular designs like small modular reactors SMRs, can be adapted for naval use. The request for information RFI outlines the Royal Navy's need for detailed technical information. Stating, the Royal Navy is seeking information regarding integrating Generation 4 nuclear technologies for surface ship employment. Exploring scopes for alternative energy paradigms, the Royal Navy is gathering information on energy solutions for powering large surface ships. Generation 4 reactors are a significant advancement over previous nuclear technologies, offering enhanced safety features, better fuel efficiency, and reduced environmental impact. These reactors are designed to minimize nuclear waste and include passive safety systems to prevent accidents. Their modular design makes them more flexible and suitable for a wide range of applications, including maritime use. While the Ministry of Defense has clarified that no further discussions with the industry are planned at this stage. Any future procurement related to this initiative would follow public procurement regulations. This includes advertising through the Defense Sourcing Portal and Contracts Finder. The information gathering exercise focuses on several key areas, including technical feasibility, power output, and safety protocols. A critical aspect of the Royal Navy's inquiry involves understanding the implications of nuclear power on ship design and construction. The RFI seeks responses that address the modifications required for large surface ships to accommodate these nuclear systems and the research and development necessary to make this transition viable. While no decisions have been made regarding the procurement of nuclear technologies at this stage, the Ministry of Defense's request for detailed technical information indicates that the Royal Navy is seriously considering how nuclear power could fit into its future fleet. As the request for information RFI explains, this initiative is part of the Royal Navy's broader effort to gather information that will inform its future strategic decisions. Through this the request for information RFI the Royal Navy is seeking input from the defense industry to explore how nuclear power used so effectively in submarines could enhance the capabilities of its surface fleet. The move could allow ships to operate for longer periods, reduce their reliance on fuel supplies, and potentially transform how the Royal Navy operates at sea. 
The move aims to assess the potential for extended operation and reduced reliance on fuel supplies. Overall, while the Royal Navy's exploration of nuclear power for surface ships represents an ambitious and forward-thinking approach, the practicalities and costs involved will be critical factors in determining whether this technology will be integrated into the Royal Navy's future fleet. The US Navy operates 11 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers and dozens of nuclear-powered submarines. In fact, the Navy has no conventionally powered subs or carriers, although 21 amphibious transport docks and 10 big-deck amphibious assault ships are conventionally powered. During the Cold War, the United States also operated nine nuclear-powered cruisers, retiring the last of those USS California CGN-36 in July 1999. Though the sea service remains committed to nuclear propulsion for its carriers and subs. We are not likely to see nuclear-powered cruisers again, largely due to the high operating costs and large crews that were required to maintain them. But the UK's Royal Navy sees the potential for nuclear-powered surface warships. This week, Britain's Ministry of Defence issued a request for information RFI from local industry. The request for information called for detailed technical information, the Royal Navy is seeking information regarding integrating Generation 4 nuclear technologies for surface ship employment. Exploring scopes for alternative energy paradigms, the Royal Navy is gathering information on energy solutions for powering large surface ships. Speaking to the UK-based Telegraph, Tom Sharp, a former Royal Navy commander, noted that developing a fleet of nuclear-powered cruisers is not imminent. He added that while the focus on exploring nuclear propulsion is encouraging, it is not yet practical for immediate implementation. Sharp explained that nuclear propulsion becomes economically viable primarily for vessels over 80,000 tons. However, Sharp suggested that advancements in Generation 4 reactor technology, which promises smaller, safer, and more efficient designs, could potentially alter the thresholds for when nuclear power becomes practical. The Royal Navy is gathering information on energy solutions for powering large surface ships.